welcome back to the channel. We're down at Dutton Park. We're going down to the uh, river side and we're going to catch a um, city cat. We're going to take a cruise up the river and we'll go past Brisbane City and South Bank and up to Hamilton. So I'll uh, take you along and uh, show you a bit of the sights. across the river back to the side there's a university there and I catch a cat I don't know if you can see it just in between the branches Brisbane Cemetery now uh, we need to get on the bridge up there and walk across so I don't know how to get there let's go this way Alright, taking a walk up the uh, cemetery, we need to get to the bridge and then we'll walk across. Alright, let's flip up. Let's go. Rest in peace. Alright, we made it up to the top of the stairs. We gotta go that way, across the bridge. There's the city cat. So we've moved, we've walked across that side, up to the bridge, and then across. Now we're starting our trip at the University of Queensland campus at St. Lucia. The fares at the moment for public transportation is at 50 cents. Here comes our ride. It's very handy to use the go card, which is Princeton's public transportation access card. Do ensure you have this as water cats do not accept cash payments. Inside the cabin is quite comfortable and clean. There's also a public toilet on board. I take a quick inspection of the vessel moving to the stern to find a vantage point where I can take a video. Some water cats have top decks, this one does not. So I found the best vintage point to be at the front. So most of my shots will be from the bow of the vessel. This is where the pilot sits and operates the vessel. I'm completing the entire route of the city water cat from St. Lucia up to Hamilton. The trip one way will take approximately an hour and 35 minutes. First stop is West End. And not too far off on the opposite bank, we stop at the second stop at Doyata Park. You can see families and people out and about enjoying the cool weather. Next stop, Regatta. We're coming close now to the city. Next stop, Milton, one more stop away from the city. In the foreground, you can clearly see the skyline of the city as well. You can tell because we're coming close to the go between bridge. There's several other bridges that will pass along the way as well, which tell you that you're close to the city.
So here you can see the modern art gallery as well as the State Library of Queensland, which is along South Bank. Next stop, North Quay. And right across you can see the iconic Wheel of Brisbane in South Bank. Right next to it, you can see the Queensland Performing Arts Centre as well. South Bank is busy as always, people just going about enjoying the riverside, enjoying the grass and enjoying the environment. We've had rain throughout the week and today being a Saturday, everyone's out enjoying the sunshine. We're now about halfway through the cruise. On the right side, you can see the buildings, which is the central business center. So I started chatting with one of the passengers that had got on from the riverside stop, and he was explaining some of the sites to me as well. He was telling me a little bit about the next stop, which used to be the Old Wharfs, which is now restaurants and bars and also a brewing company. For the best scenic sites, I would recommend traveling between North Key and the Howard Smith Wharf. By now the ferry is packed and full of people and families just enjoying the afternoon cruise. The Water Cats have a crew of two to three people. They have the pilot and a cabin crew member. So as passengers get off the ferry, you can see two crew members, the pilot being the one in the dark blue shirt. The sun is slowly setting in, cast a light shadow across the water as we cruise along. Apollo is the second last stop before we head off to North Shore. And as you can see, there's a beautiful sunset in the horizon. I highly recommend that you do this trip while you're in Brisbane. The best time to go on the cruise is at twilight so that you can see the sunset. Then you have the city beautifully lit up as well. Just got off at Notre last stop. We'll just wait for the next 
ferry. On the trip back I thought I might try out the top deck, however it lacks room to move and it's hard to take videos from up there, so I made my way back down and to the front so I can have a better view. And what a beautiful view it is from the water as you cruise along, the sunset in the background and the lights of the city below.
Lots of cruise along the Brisbane River. I hope you enjoy this one.